Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Am I center? Even the card is not center yet. I think it's centered now. Welcome, welcome to my channel. If you are new to the channel, um, I'll hold your horses because we're about to start, all right? Um, so first things first is that I combine tarot with sidereal astrology so that it becomes more accurate. Um, for me, um, we need, uh, you know, different kinds of divination in order to put things, you know, to have a better prediction, okay, accuracy-wise, timing-wise. The tarot is not enough, and that is, uh, that for me, that's how I see it. Um, um, let me just explain briefly. When I had my first uh, reading when I was a teenager, of course, I can tell you can tell I'm not a teenager anymore, um, it manifested through the years. We're not talking about like maybe five, six, seven, eight years before everything manifested. But, you know, as a teenager, you know, you just wait for things to happen. You know, you were not that enthusiastic about it. Um, you know, with life, you know, just live and let go. That's basically it. That's much better, actually. <laughs> so, um, coming to realization is that, you know, uh, it will manifest. Wonderful, amazing divination process. But when? And that's where sidereal astrology comes through, okay? So I have the on my side your chart, and we shall begin. And this is sidereal, guys. So um, I don't do Western astrology, so planet placement will be different. Mm -hmm. So let's begin. All right, let's see here. We basically follow what is above in the sky, where it is, okay? Don't change anything, okay? Here we go. You got here, ooh, Nine of Swords. Okay, mm-hmm. We're getting there right away, Sal. Nine of Swords is worry, right? Nine of Swords is like uncertainty. Mm-hmm. Um, if there's anything that you would be worried right now, um, for some, it can be health, you know? Maybe you're stressing about going to a doctor and you don't like to go to a doctor. Who wants to, be, to visit a doctor anyway, right? Unless you're pregnant, congratulations. Okay, that's a wonderful news. Um, but with an item source, yeah, wonderful for you, Sal. Okay. <laughs> no, what I'm talking about is like someone something is you could have like stress right now and overthinking a situation. Um, chances are also because it's a sword, it's air, then it involves our Mercury retrograde right now that is happening until October 18, which is happening in Libra. Um, Chitra Nakshatra, but it will also affect um because it's too close to Virgo. So you have you have health and work, and then Libra is partnership. So it might be quite overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Mercury is zero degrees in Libra. So this is the birth of uh, of the planet, you know. So during the birth, it's strong. Um, so it's magical. It, we call it magic degrees also. So the zero degrees, um, you know, now it's more intense than ever. For others, you won't feel this, you know, depends because... Each person has different placement. Others will thrive um, during this time. Um, and on your end, you know, you're in the different paradigm where you're feeling stressed out, bugged down. You know, Venus is in Libra, 27 degrees. You know, as it moves closer to 28, 29, it loses its strength. Mm -hmm. um, that's how the, you know, the end and then the beginning. It loses its strength and it gains strength again when it's moving to one zodiac to the next zodiac. So you may feel right now, it's like, oh, I'm losing control over the situation that you are in, which is in romantic connection. And then you have, you know, Sun and Mars and Virgo right now, which everybody I feel like is focusing on health and work. Health and work. This is what Virgo is about. Health and work. So that's okay. So <laughs> I think we need some healing over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got here. Ooh, okay. Got a Ten of Swords. So we're not wasting time over here. So you are stressed about a breakup and for others you're stressed about someone betraying you the lies that you're about to see mm -hmm. now there may be a part of you right now that you're stressed because you see someone for their true colors for others this is your friends because um are enemies that you probably never thought like has uh, was wishing ill towards you but now, like you, you, you see them. It's like, oh, now I understand. So that person wasn't really um, a friend to me, you know. Ten of Swords, because mm -hmm. six houses also enemies. And when the sun is there, it illuminates. So it it shows us who people are to us, who are our enemies, be friend, family, or um, you know, lover. 
but here right now I can tell that it is about the lover because Venus is in Libra. Mm -hmm. So let's see here. Three of Wands. Um, someone is scared also of uh, being caught. Now this is that person right here with the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is worried for, I feel like, because they don't know how to cover their tracks. They're not there. They're not going to do anything here though. Like they know it's all about to go down. Ten of Swords. Very intense coming. Um, you know, and if this is the energy right now, it would last until October 18. Mm -hmm. And we're only at the end of September. So hold your horses. So I would need you to, get, uh, you know, um, how to say this? Um, try to pull yourself, you know, together um, with doing breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. Because normally our stress, our anxiety, uh, I'm, I'm not a psychologist or psychiatrist, but in our practice, when you do pranayama, enough oxygen inside the head releases that whole pressure, okay? So only through the nose though, inhale through the nose and exhale. And then you can do, um, you know, there's this method where you do left nostril, right nostril, left nostril, left, like that. You close one nostril, you, you tube it. There's a lot of gurus who would teach that, okay? And that gives you even, uh, you know, even flow inside your um, head, you know, uh, air wise. And at the same time, if it's about fear, this can be related to Rahu and Taurus right now, which, um, you know, one good remedy for Rahu is in the morning when you wake up, if you're stressed, you do the breathe breathing exercise because there's not enough oxygen inside your head. And that causes you stress and anxiety and overthinking. So it all starts how you uh, how you wake up in the morning, but it also starts how you sleep at night, because if you carry your burden at night, um, then you carry it to the next day. So it's important for you, even though like even though even this is like for example just a day to day uh, uh, living, you have to release the worries and the problem of the current meaning at present during the day, to that day. Oh, let's just say it was 24 or 25 or 26 or 27. It stays there. It doesn't get carried over to the next day. Mm -hmm. Or else it would be hard for you to get up. That's when I coach. Okay. So that's very, very important. Nothing gets carried over through the next day. Mm -hmm. It's always the new beginning. Mm -hmm. Three of Wands and the Empress. Okay, so this is a mistress. Okay. This is the person of person of interest. What is this? Okay. An investigation. So this person, three of ones with the Empress, has been hiding someone, mistress or mister, whatever that they, they float their boat. And this person find out. Long distance can be with the relationship here. Okay. You're having a hard time finding comfort right now or solace in life. Okay. Let me see. You got the chariot. You get the two of cups because you felt betrayed because this person right here expressed to you their feelings. You guys have this, uh, you know, what, a soul to soul kind of conversation. You know how they feel, you know, those, those whole, uh, you know, they, they link it to some sort of magic. Like, I just know them from the past. There's this familiarity. Once you gain maturity, I feel like in the spiritual community, you would understand that it is as basic as peanut butter and jelly. It's nothing special. We just forget how how we were connected once, you know, in, in a soul level. So it makes it feel special. But it is to everyone. Everybody is special. But when you put roman romance right there, there is a sense of pleasure. So Venus is pleasure and it's in Libra. So it's seeking pleasure through partnership through a soul connection doesn't make sense okay and saturn jupiter is still in retrograde so this is you know there you know jupiter is the caraca for the spouse so you feel this longing right now wanting okay to be with them but this person belongs to someone else it is sad to belong to someone else when the right one comes along mm -hmm. The hermit, and they can't do anything with this. I feel like this person cannot communicate, cannot talk to you right now. The hermit is in the hiding. They could have ghosted you. This person could have just have no choice, but I can't reach out to you because they got a baby mama, they got a baby dada, they got someone else on the side. Mm -hmm. Now, with the hermit over here, they have no choice. They need to find their enlightenment. That's the Merkaba right there. Merkaba is, you know, uh, it is a tool 
um, that is used to connect with uh, with the source, with God. Mm -hmm. So you are still feeling this, you know, ten of swords with the two of cups. You got an eight of wands and the empress. So currently they're with that person. They're not coming. Oh, they're coming in fast to you. No, currently this person had to come towards the other person because they had their own karma there and Mercury is also in retrograde. So they have to fix this while your connection with them is basically um, being broken down. You, however, here with a chariot wants to pursue. If they're not coming to you, you're coming to them. Okay? So link down there in the description box below for the extended. Titles will never resonate. Mm-hmm or it will never make sense because this is the first part of the read. We do a whole reading, which is in the extended. That's where you find out everything that you need as far as like the continuing part of this. So that's when we, we make the title for people who doesn't understand. Um, everything is down, down there for consultation, um, birth chart. Um, there is a whole bundle of report, explanation of different planets in your chart. Um, there's a one month, six month, one year prediction that you can get uh, as far as like transit for you on your own sign. All right. What you need, uh, what, what you need is just to go there and check it out and which one is suited for you for guidance. All right. Follow me on Instagram also. I post there a lot of different things uh, besides my cooking abilities. <laughs> I love to cook. Um, uh, I post there a lot of different about astrology. So Eat, Read, Love, Inc. and Salvador. And make sure you visit our store in Los Angeles, the first of its kind, meaning from YouTube to LA, basically. Mm -hmm. We have our wonderful, wonderful store in uh, Studio City. So make sure you come and visit us, all right? So thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Follow me down there. And if you want to know more about your chart and how it's manifesting, well, go right ahead. Bye, guys.